What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to be re revealing the plans for the 2017 Camaro SS, the Krypton Camaro, the whole build on it. Um, I have a bunch of parts that came in and we're using the Turbo GMC for a workbench. Everything's piled in the back here. Here is the build in boxes. A big thanks to Texas Speed. We're going to start with this box here. Let me throw this up here. We'll get to opening. So this is the first mod. Um, this is probably the first modification most people do to their car, but it's one of many that I'm going to do. This out here. And it is a cold air intake. Throw it down here and pull it out of the box. It comes mostly assembled, it looks like. Well, at least the box is. And the weather stripping down there. It is a Rotofab piece for the 2016 Up Camaro SS. And I also opted for the Sound Elite tube. I don't really see the purpose for it, um, especially with some of the other modifications I got going on this car. But it looks to be good quality. Everything you need in here to put together. That should help boost the air in. So let's go move on to, let's go to this box. So you can see in there on that box, but it's definitely some exhaust pipe. Get that out of there. Get that out of there. The gold three inch X pipe. go on to this box. <clears throat> I'm sure you can probably guess what this box is already since we got an X pipe. The only thing to go along with an X pipe is a set of headers. So that's what this is. Um, let's do this with one hand or not. Now yeah, let me set it down. So these are the inch and seven eighths uh, long tube headers that go to the X pipe. And these are the Texas speed units for uh, LT1 engines. Look pretty nice. Nice clean welds, nice ports, nice transitions. All right, there is the headers, inch and seven eighths stainless steel long tube headers, uh, three inch X pipe, catted X pipe, and then it comes back in next down to hook to the stock exhaust at the back. But so far it looks good. It's in uh, multiple pieces. So it should fit on the car pretty nice, a lot of adjustability. 
and of course it comes with the clamps and hardware to put it all together. All right, one more box, and this is probably the most important box. That's a nice hat, TSB hat, that's cool. The This is the Comp Cams cam phaser kit. It's a tool kit to put the limiting block inside your cam phaser when you put a cam in it. So that definitely means right here I have a cam. We'll get to that in a minute. Um, I'm not sure what that is. The, the cam bolt for the cam phaser variable valve timing that's interesting it looks kind of delicate we'll have to be careful with that put that there here's the crank bolt should replace these every time I know a lot of people don't GM recommends it so we're going to do what they recommend some stickers and a keychain. Here's that extension harness I was talking about for the headers. I think with this kit it only requires one. So, and here is the the cam phaser block that they want me to install. It's a zero degree block. It pretty much locks the variable valve timing out. Um, they said don't use the one that comes in the comp kit and use this one instead so they made it so i guess they know this is all my head bolts again you're supposed to replace these these are torque to yield so we're, we're gonna replace them even though the car only has 800 miles on it at this time every time you take them apart they should uh, be replaced and these are the lifter trays because when you do an aftermarket cam you have to do a DOD delete and these are I believe they're LS2 lifter trays um, these are the lifters LS7 style Delphi lifters yep again when doing the DOD delete kit you have to change the lifters and you have to at least change eight of them so we're just going to change them all 16 at once all right that's there and these are probably the push rods yes I've used these before these are nice nice pieces Texas Beam Performance 7.850 Eighty thousand wall. Um, I believe that's all is in the box. It's actually not all we're doing to the car, but that's all they sent out now because heads have to come off to do this kit, the cam change, and the DOD delete kit. So while the heads are off, I'm just going to send them back to Texas Speed, and they will do their CNC's porting and uh, send them back to me and they'll reinstall all the valve springs clean them do their port work clean them reinstall the valve springs uh, locks retainers I, th I think they're pack 660 springs and uh, titanium retainers and new valve seals and uh, seats also so that all that they did not ship they uh they actually kept it there Instead of me shipping it right back to them, it makes sense for them to keep it and they'll have them there when they do the heads. So the rest of this stuff in here is gaskets. I'm not sure why I have four exhaust gaskets, but we do. Head gaskets. 
and that should be it. I think the, the front cover is held on with these LT ones with silicone. So yeah, I'm not sure why they sent four. Maybe the gasket kit comes with them and the adders come with them. I don't know. But that's it. Um, for that anyway, let's open the cam up and see what cam we got for it. Grab the cam card. All right, here we go. So duration at 50 thousandths is 235, 239. It's pretty healthy. Um, 645, 635 lift, and a 32% fuel load. So this thing should sound amazing. Uh, it should have a nice, nice lumpy idle to it. Um, should be a racy idle really and should this cam they actually advertise it's their vvt3 cam and they actually advertise 110 horsepower at the crank just by installing this cam so very excited to hear that um, so with the cam uh, the headers and exhaust the air intake the cnc ported heads and uh, a tune we should uh, really improve the performance of this Camaro. Texas Speed, uh, I think you can see that. Texas Speed actually stamps right on their cams, uh, their their name and uh, the specs of the cam also. So there's definitely no question. Of course, in the motor, you're never gonna see that, but when the cam's out, you know. All right, that's pretty much all I have for today. Um, I gotta clean all this mess up and uh, like I said I'm not real sure when I'm gonna get to this project yet um, but I'll definitely keep you in tune and uh, let you know as soon as I decide and we'll do an install video as we go step by step putting the cam in and of course the headers and all these other thanks for watching please subscribe have a good day